Hi, greetings from Staten Island, New York. Uh, this is John Irish Pogey McLaughlin from... Uh, I have a few things that I want to bring out today. Uh, I create a little outline for myself so that uh, I can maintain uh, my train of thought. Uh, people who know me intimately know I tend to meander all over the place, so I'm just trying to maintain... Uh, uh, try to remain centered here. Um, just want to let you know that uh, I haven't been affected by the COVID-19 uh, illness and uh, hopefully that will continue. Uh, my immediate family members are all okay. I, I keep in touch with them and uh, I've been working from home for the last six weeks and uh, uh, it's been a little tough. Uh, don't know how long we're going to be, uh, you know, maintaining our present status quo. Uh, there's a difference in, of opinion in terms of when we're going to be fully operational. Uh, when we're going to be living life as it used to be. But uh, the truth is no one really knows anything because this is a very, very novel situation. I mean, I've lived through 9-11-2001. I've lived through transit strikes and I've lived through Hurricane Sandy but nothing pales uh, compared to what we're dealing with now because we're dealing with a lot of unknown factors um, and even the leadership doesn't have a ha, have not reached a consensus in terms of how to solve uh, the current dilemma that we face so uh, with that in mind uh, I'm, I'm sort of glad that the USBC actually canceled uh, some of the events that were on the calendar. I know that some individuals were really upset and they were bashing the USBC but you have to understand that uh, we're talking about human lives, we're talking about health and uh, I know that uh, people kind of bummed about not going to Las Vegas and bowl and uh, you know, I understand that and nationals had to be changed as well and there's a possibility we may not be uh, bowling but we'll see how that goes anyway I'm not gonna take this so uh, anyway like I said um, the USBC is more interested in the health and safety of uh, its members rather than collecting money from them. And uh, I think that uh, their changing the dates and canceling some events was the right thing to do. Um, while we're cooped up, uh, I basically have uh, created like a little outline in terms of what YouTube channels you can actually tune into. Um, there are a lot of bowling related uh, YouTube channels out there and uh, I've broken them into several categories. Um, a. Retro. Uh, retro channels are basically ones that are similar to mine that basically focus on the classics. Uh, B. Uh, instructional slash equipment demonstrations. C. Uh, local tournament competition. D, um, personal video pages, and E, bowling center pages. So uh, here's a, a listing of uh, YouTube channels you can tune into and possibly subscribe that uh, fit into category A. Uh, the granddaddy of all granddaddies, uh, Mr. Bowling 300. Keith Kingston from Michigan has some wonderful stuff for you to watch. And he's the first person that actually had uh, put s stuff on the internet. And I commend him for it. He basically led the way for the rest of us to follow. And um, he's always going to be the first. And my hat's off to him. Uh, Bowling Oldies. Uh, Randy Brown in Georgia has some great stuff. Uh, Marion Ladderwig. Don Carter. Some old footage it's it's great uh then there's pizza pichichetti uh, not sure where he's from but he's got some great stuff on his youtube channel uh there's also uh this guy from uh, russia by the name of 
Yakov Arb 1. Um, he's got a lot of uh, events from 2000 to about 2010. So check out his channel and if you like what he's got, subscribe. Uh, then there's this guy, uh, Ryan, that I know from Michigan, Signal PH03. He has a lot of classic uh, women's tour events, and one of the things that he's got up there that I really enjoy watching is the 1992 Samsung Invitational. Uh, Tish top-seeded, bowls a big game, and defeats Robin Romeo to, uh, to win... Uh, uh, her uh, fourth title of 1992 and uh, earns uh, Player of the Year awards. Uh, there's also uh, Buddy's Pro Shop. Buddy's Pro Shop has been uploading a lot of uh, classic stuff from uh, the 80s, 90s, 2000s. And it's wonderful. Uh, then there's Jeffrey Rippick. Jeff is actually from uh, upstate New York. I think he's from Endicott. He's got a lot of full telecasts on his channel, so uh, check Jeffrey Rippick out, R-I-P-I-C. Then there's uh, my my buddy from Ohio, Vic Aman. He's from uh, he's the one that basically he runs the uh, King of Bowling YouTube channel, and what he's got on his channel is uh, a lot of retro matches, both national and. Uh, a lot of local footage. Um, you ever want to watch a 17-year-old, a 16-year-old, a 15-year-old Brian Hemler? He's got footage. Go check him out. Uh, then there's the Sport of Bowling, USBC. Um, they just began uploading some classic telecasts from the past. Um, they recently added a, a show that I posted a few years earlier, uh, the 98 Samstown Invitational, won by Julie Gardner. And another tournament that they recently uploaded that I uploaded years prior was uh, uh, the 94 U um, ABC Senior Masters, won by the late Hobo Booth. Um, yeah, I appreciate their efforts, but come on. <laughs> what about uploading the 97 um, Sam's Town Invitational? Love to watch that telecast. Uh, Kim Adler wins her second major because uh, if, I, if I'm... If I'm not mistaken, she won the 95 uh, Touring Players Championship, and the 97 Samstown was the second major, and then of course the 99 um, U.S. Open would have been the third jewel of her um, storied career. Okay, who else? Um, then there's PBA Bowling. PBA Bowling has some uh, classic footage that. Uh, they've actually uploaded. Um, then there's some old telecast. I mean, there's some old subscribers that have been around a while that haven't really added anything to their channels. But if you want to check them out, go right ahead. Uh, Duna228. Then my friend from Rhode Island, Mike Ware, has plenty of great footage on his YouTube channel. There's also PBA Tour Rewind. Uh, Wolfman12395. Green Vet, uh, Mike Jakubowski uh, has a lot of World Team Challenge footage on his YouTube channel. Uh, you can check him out. Uh, bowling videos for all. Uh, Barb Spigner has some footage of her husband Bill with some of his uh, wins from the PBA Tour from uh, 1980, uh, 75, 73. Check it out. Uh, then uh, my friend from Minnesota, Mac McNeil. Mac McNeil has won, uh, I think, four Eagles at the USBC Open Championships. He's got a YouTube channel of his own, EP Bowling Dude 03. You can go check him out. And then my buddy Tim Romano has a YouTube channel uh, that has a lot of uh, championship bowling footage on it. So uh, you should take advantage and check them out. And. Uh, in uh, category B, which is the um, instrumental slash equipment demonstration, of course, uh, all the ball companies have uh, staff throwing their equipment on various lane patterns. 
you can learn from them. Um, Bill Hall, who is a very, very well-known bowling instructor uh, and has been instrumental in uh, creating superstars like Carolyn Dorn Ballad, uh, her husband Dell, Norm Duke, Chris Warren. Uh, Bill Hall has a, a YouTube channel you should check out. He's got a very, very interesting video on uh, lane topography and how it affects ball motion. You should really check that out. Um, Mark Baker Bowling. Mark Baker is a, a former PBA champion who has uh, uh, been very, very instrumental in coaching Chris Barnes, Linda Barnes, and uh, Tommy Jones and a variety of others. He has a YouTube channel with uh, some tips and tricks you can introduce into your own game. Uh, a guy who's from my neck of the woods, um, The Art of Bowling, Arthur O'Connor, from uh, Queens actually has a great uh, YouTube channel that uh, features lots of uh, instructional footage, lots of tips. Uh, Michelle Mullen and uh, Aliyah Sill from Michigan have uh, their YouTube channel, Your Bowling Coach. Uh, there's also the Kegel Training Center. Uh, the Kegel Training Center is a very, very well-known place where uh, people go to uh, learn uh, a variety of things about how to improve their games and uh, two individuals that uh, coach there um, that are very very instrumental in, in making the Weber University team uh, bowling powerhouses uh, goal coach Daryl Warren and uh, Randy Stoughton check those uh, videos out uh, and there's also Ballads Bowling Academy I mentioned Dell and Carolyn earlier they have uh, their own YouTube channel that uh, provides tips and instructions. You should check them out. Uh, PBA Bowler J.R. Raymond has uh, a YouTube channel that provides his insights into the current game and uh, provides some great tips as to how to bring your game to the next level. Um, there's also Ronald Hicklin Jr. He actually has uh, uh, a number of great tips that you can actually learn and implement into your game. Uh, BowlerX.com, Bowling Lessons 300, The Bowling Fix, Tama Bowling 300. Um, these are all uh, great YouTube channels and if I happen to leave one out or leave two out, uh, please list them in your comments. I would appreciate that very much. Okay, as far as uh, Category C is concerned, uh, this is local tournament footage that you can actually watch. Uh, some of the videos are actually recorded, some are actually live streamed and archived. Um, Colorado Sports TV has the Denver ABT and uh, Nick Sosa and his crew actually have weekly tournaments that basically air on a Sunday night. You can always take advantage once everything returns to normal but uh, there's plenty of archive footage for you to watch. And the good thing about uh, the, um, the Denver ABT branch is the fact that Nick uses a variety of sport patterns uh, during his tournaments. And uh, you can always learn a thing or two from watching some of the uh, well-known individuals from that area, like, um, for example, Scott Myers, um, Frank Guccione, um, Noah and uh, Gallegos and his father Steve. Um, there's just too many people to uh, list in that category that uh, are very, very well known in, in their region and great players of their own right. Then there's the LIGPT. Uh, Steve Sanders actually runs a club out in uh, Long Island uh, and his tournaments use sport patterns. And of course, the catchphrase, 10 in the pit. I can't do it like him, but you know I, ha I have his accent, so that counts for something. Then you've got JBT 900. Uh, this is uh, a junior bowlers tour um, organization that basically runs tournaments in the, uh, the western part of the United States. Uh, they have footage uh, from New Mexico. They have footage from um, Nevada. They have footage from Oregon. They have footage from Washington State. They have uh, footage from California. Uh, 
it's always great to check out the the uh, the rising stars of the game uh, see how their game is progressing as time moves on I think it's great to check people out uh, there's also uh, David Yamauchi's uh, JBT his club is basically based in Southern California and Missy Parkin and uh, Scott Norton uh, champions on their respective tours have gotten their their feet wet uh, bowling David's tournaments, and uh, Wesley Lowe, uh, a rising star, can be featured in some of the archived uh, posts that David had put up. Then there's the Brownswick Channel, which is uh, a creation of Randy Brown. Coach Randy has uh, some great young talent, and uh, uh, one of one rising star. Uh, there's uh, uh, Charles Bostic, he's got a great physical game, and you look Charles, you look at Charles, and then you look at Kim Terrell Carney, you'll definitely see some um, some similarities uh, between both games. Uh, thing about Charles is that he recently bowled extremely well in the PTQ of the latest U.S. Open tournament that was held earlier this year, and um, in John Lozito's place in um, Nebraska. He actually had done extremely well during qualifying the PTQ, but didn't really do too well in the tournament proper. So, you know, those things happen. But it's going to be amazing to see what what kind of uh, game Charles is going to have in a few years once he gets a few more uh, notches under his belt and a little more experience. And then there's also the ND Bowl TV. Uh, this is a live stream channel that features tournaments that are basically held in Canada and uh, uh, North Dakota, Minnesota, you know, that region of uh, the country. And it, it's great. Uh, from what I've seen of these particular videos, the, the individuals that bowl in these events may not be household names, but. Uh, they're very well-known individuals in their own regions. And if you look at these people play, I mean, their playing styles are fantastic. And rightfully so. Check them out. And of course, Bowl TV has a lot of uh, uh, archive footage. Bowl TV was uh, a creation of the USB-C. Now Bowl TV basically um, uh, will be featuring future content on its uh, pay-per-view type of... Uh, channel which I think has alienated some people. Um, there's the Inside Bowling channel which has been created by Mike Flanagan. Mike Flanagan has been responsible for um, creating a lot of tournaments in the, the Midwest. Uh, then there's also Bowlstream TV. Craig Elliott has, uh, has basically captured a lot of events including uh, the New Mexico Open which was held at uh, the tournament that, um, which has been held at a bowling center that's uh, owned by uh, Steve and Dana Milamaki, Ten Pins and More in, uh, what's that part? It's uh, Rio Rancho, New Mexico? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Then there's Japan PBA. Um, Japan PBA actually features a lot of live events that features the Japanese player that uh, bowl PBA events that are staged there. Then there's Levis Nelson, the top dog uh, telecasts. Uh, they're not live, but uh, if you ever want to know how to bowl on uh, Sphinx and uh, Kegel Red Square, I mean, there's plenty of footage of these individuals that uh, bowl on those patterns and bowl well on them. Um, then there's Sean's Tournaments, which is basically um, run, in, uh, run by uh, I don't know who operates that particular YouTube channel, but uh, uh, these events are held in the state of Indiana. You've got uh, uh, Eugene McCune, Bill Crane Jr., I mean Bill Crane the Third, and uh, some other local individuals that take advantage of those e events. Uh, then there's UBA Bowling. UBA Bowling is uh, something that basically takes place in my neck of the woods. Um, it's basically... A, a team type of uh, sport. 
but they use house conditions so and it, they basically use a lot of trash talk and uh, I don't know if that's your your scene it's not mine personally but um, you can tune in and if you like subscribe um, there's also the Western Canadian Bowl YouTube channel uh, and of course uh, some other regions of the ABT actually have uh, posted videos of, of their tournament uh, finals. I don't know if they use uh, sport patterns like the Denver people do, but you can always uh, check them out and uh, um, see for yourself. Now, Category D. These are personal YouTube channels that basically chronicle, chronicle the bowling careers of uh, a variety of people, some rising stars. Uh, Logan Fossum, who happens to be one of uh, of Randy Brown's um, people, he's got some footage of himself. I think I think uh, Logan's about 15, 16 now. But uh, what a great physical game Logan has! So it's going to be very, very interesting. It's very, very interesting to see where his game is going to be in two years from now, five years from now. So as long as YouTube is around. Uh, and uh, people that are willing to record content, then we'll see for ourselves. Um, then there's uh, Jeff Riggles, the 11th frame. Uh, Jeff Riggles of, is a very, very well-known uh, journalist who lives in the state of Wisconsin. Uh, he's got the 11th frame um, vlog that he actually uh, writes and he's got a lot of great stuff in his blog so even though um, there's a very very small fee to to basically uh, uh, have access to his uh, material it's worth it uh, then there's Deandra Beatty the 2012 Queens winner actually has a, a you know a personal YouTube channel of her own uh, you should check her out um, then there's uh, Darren Tang who happens to be a rising star in his own right? He's Michael Tang's uh, younger brother, or is he? The, or is he the older brother? I don't know. Then there's bowling by Jason Belmonte. Then there's the pin action photograph. Uh, can't get my words out today. Pin action photography. Uh, this is a YouTube channel that's basically put together by a young man by the name of Bryce Catahan, and he's got a very very um, very popular video that he recently posted, uh, uh, basically expressing his feelings about uh, the uh, the closing of Junior Gold for 2020, and he's 19 years of age, and he's got he's got the wisdom of and the uh, insights of a much older person. I mean, he's a great kid. And if it, it's just wonderful to, to hear people of, of his generation that echo the thoughts that he expressed in that particular video. So check him out. He's got some uh, bowl reviews and he's got uh, some other material that you may want to uh, look at and uh, eh, you'll learn something. Um, then there's uh, Madison Janik, Strike Queen. He's, she's got uh, some very, very great videos on her YouTube channel and she has a variety of uh, videos of uh, her bowling on the ultra flat um, red square pattern and she makes the pattern she makes it look like a house shot I mean the girl has got the girl's got so much great talent it's just it's just a joy to watch uh, same thing can be said about uh, a one-time titleist uh, Daria Payak the Polish girl that uh, uh, bowled competitively uh, for um, Weber University and now she's trying to make her name for herself and uh, I think she's going to be in the Hall of Fame in uh, um, I would say in the next 20 years or so. I hope I live long enough to see it. I'm 57 now and 20 years from now I'll be 77. Uh, I may be around, I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't control that. Then there's the Asian Super Strikers. Um, 
I think they're from Vegas. I'm not exactly certain because they have some videos that uh, looks like uh, they're, they're recorded at Samstown. Samstown uh, Bowling and Casino was located in uh, Las Vegas and Samstown has hosted uh, uh, various events including the LPBT for the last number of years. They've hosted the Senior Masters, uh, the Super Senior Classic, it's a great uh, venue to uh, to um, attend. Uh, I was there last year, and I love Samstown. It's a great place. Uh, Brad and Kyle is a great uh, YouTube channel to tune into. Uh, Hal Sherman and Brad Miller. Uh, not only do they chronicle their lives on tour, but uh, they also have you know give some instructions for those that uh, want to learn some things about how to get your games to the next level. Uh, then there's uh, Storm Andrew, Andrew Minkowitz from Long Island. Uh, he basically has a, a YouTube channel of him testing out various balls that have been manufactured by uh, Storm out in uh, Brigham City. Um, then uh, there's Jasmine Mason, who's uh, a very well-known uh, lady on the women's tour she recently won uh, the regional invitational uh, she bowled on the um, she bowled for Bill Straub on the University of uh, uh, Nebraska uh, she has uh, a lot of talent and I think that she's gonna get herself into the Hall of Fame she's young I think she's in her what mid 20s so I would say maybe 15 to 20 years from now I uh, wouldn't be surprised if Jasmine finds herself in the Hall of Fame. Then there's Z Fishman. Z Fishman actually has a number of videos out there of uh, his group bowling in uh, the um, the ABC no uh, National Championships from decades ago. And what I find surprising was that uh, some of the centers that uh, some of the venues that uh, held the event used shadow practice. I mean, how many bowling centers use shadow practice nowadays? I mean, none in my area, but then again, you know, how many AMF centers uh, are in Staten Island? Only two. I mean, there are only two centers on Staten Island. They, they use all Brunswick equipment, so no shadow practice. Um, so, we're going to get to category E. Uh, Rab's Country Lanes. Uh... Naz Larson and uh, the proprietor Frankie Wilkinson has been putting out videos on a daily basis from his center live, basically helping a variety of people trying to cope with, uh, you know, the current state of affairs here in Staten Island. And I appreciate uh, what Naz and Frankie have done. Uh, Frankie's father, the late Rab Wilkinson, naturally drilled my very first bowling ball back in 1978. And I've got a lot of great, great memories of, of Rab and his brother Eddie. And Eddie's still alive and doing well. Um, then there's Sun Valley Lanes, uh, a bowling center that's owned by uh, John Lozito. Uh, John Lozito uh, is a past president of the BPAA. And uh, he recently hosted the U.S. Open. And he's also um, hosted the Ladies Tour since the uh, ladies tour rebooted so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it uh, and uh, again if there's a, a YouTube channel that has great bowling content that I have not mentioned please list it amongst the comments and uh, uh, please stay safe uh, please follow the rules please maintain uh, six feet uh, distancing between yourselves and others uh, wear masks Sanitize your hands as often as you can. I know it's it, we're basically in a pickle, but we're going to survive. We're going to be stronger because of it. And uh, God bless each and every one of you. Love you all.